Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth. And we've got yet another phenomenal puzzle for you today. So Star Wars fans are going to be familiar with the fact that tomorrow is going to be the start of a new series on Disney Plus about Ahsoka, who is essentially, I think in the first set of movies, a Padawan that's sort of matured into a Jedi. I'm going to say as part of the Clone Wars. And that's basically a TV series about her. And of course, there is a puzzle out there about her, which we're going to take a look at in a second. So really looking forward to the series. And I'm hoping that the puzzle does this justice as well. So the puzzle is Ahsoka Tano by Cedric. And now I think if you've seen some of the previous videos on this channel, you may have realized that Cedric has posted a few different Star Wars related Sudoku puzzles and variants. Um, I'll make sure to link something, you know, as a card up here to someone, to one of them. Um, I think there was a Millennium Falcon. I'm trying to remember what else I've done, but I'll, I'll make sure to link them as well. And we have here what is something that is unmistakably representative of what Ahsoka looks like. And pardon the, the pronunciation if I've got this incorrect, by the way. So let's take a look at the rule sets that we have. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So that's, you know, relatively straightforward. Digits one to nine in every row, every column, every column, that's it. And every three by three box. We have normal little killer Sudoku rules applies. So essentially it's saying this line here must sum up to 10. And this diagonal here of four cells must sum up to 10 as well. We've got digits in circles are odd. That's basically the two eyes here. The lightsabers, green lines, are German whispers lines. Now, for some reason, I was under the impression that he has blue lightsabers. Or maybe they started off as green and then became blue as part of the storyline. I'm sure someone would be able to comment on that in below and just explain how that come how what how that came about and obviously what the colors really are. Now, digits along the leku slash blue lines are Remban lines and sum to the clue in the top left corner of the topmost cell of the lek if given. So for example, these two digits, we know they're continuous and they sum up to eleven. Um, no prizes for guessing what that would actually be then. Um, lastly, we say we have here the orange skin color is purely cosmetic, so that's the orange kind of face here, uh, and that is purely cosmetic and not going to help us with today's solve. Um, as always, Cedric's puzzles are extraordinary, just being able to somehow represent such a complex looking character with a handful of lines and somehow being able to create a puzzle out of it with just relatively little you know, relatively few additional rules, given how empty it looks. But we will certainly give it a go to solve this today. You can play along as usual with a link in the description down below. And with that said, let's restart the clock and see how we get on. Right, I did say no prizes for guessing what this is. That's five, six, certainly not seven. That's eight, nine, that's seven, eight, Essentially, we need to be able to add these two digits to get 15. Um, there's two ways of doing it, 6, 9, and 7, 8. But remember, it's a Remban line, so they have to be continuous. So that's really the clue here that helps us actually put in a lot of these fairly quickly. Now, the 10 clue on a German Whispers line kind of tells us, and I am going to color this, actually, that these two have to be low and this one has to be high. Remember, with German Whispers line, we're oscillating with digits below five and then digits above five. Um, five clearly can't be on a German Whispers line because the adjacent digits would either be a zero or a 10, neither of which is possible. Now, if we had two reds here, we'd be essentially saying six and seven would be the minimum. We're at 13 without even adding another one at a minimum. So clearly this is two low digits with a high digit. And I'm tempted to say it's actually fixed because it's one, two, and seven. Now, the reason I say this is 
seven is the minimum digit we can have surrounded by these two because you know you can have one and therefore you can have six but you can't have six in the middle between these two because we need a second digit which will be a two so that gets us to seven we need three in here that's one and two that's fixed which looks up over here and helps us fix a few more things let's fill these in don't necessarily know what these are just yet four digits is yeah really pushing it now i think same rules here in that this has to be two low digits again two high digits would be impossible even if they're both sixes which they can be because they're in different boxes and this is a one we're already at 13 so that's nowhere near 10. now i am tempted to say that these have to be double one with a six Let's think about this. This could be seven, one, one, and one. Yeah, so this is six or seven. Let me. I don't think we can get up to two, can we? I'm gonna just, we can certainly not go above two because if one of them is three and the six, that's nine, that's 10, that's 11. So it's definitely restricted to one and two. It's just a question of whether it's, and I think this is another one and two as well, because I can certainly have one, six, one to get us to eight, and this would be a two, and that would be also fine. For some reason, I was under the impression this would actually be more restricted than it is. But surprisingly, not the case. Okay, we'll come back to it. What else do we have? Remban lines. This Remban line. So the highest digit we can have on this Remban line, because the nine can see all of them, is an eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four. We know that four is definitely on here. One, two, three, four, five. We know four and five are definitely on here. Potentially so is the six, but we don't know that for certain necessarily. So we'll have to think about where the six could go. It's not in here because we've got six, seven. It's in here somewhere. It's just not restricted enough. We need, we need more. We definitely need more. Now, the fact that none of these are eight, and this is an eight, still not enough. Oh, sorry, I this was pointing at this for a while. The seven, six, the seven here, six. So we do know this is a six. It's a shame because if it was a seven, this would have been potentially all ones. Still, with a six, we still need two ones and a two. And... I think that tells us the order because both of these have to be ones. So we're at eight. This has to be a two. That's the one. That's the two. And we're making a bit of progress. Now, I'm going to say we can't have a seven either now. Because you see, this seven sees all of these cells. This seven sees this cell. So we actually know that there is four as well somewhere. On this Remban line. Because if the highest digit is six. Actually, why did I say we need to have a six? I don't think that's true, actually. Because one, one, two, three, four, five, we don't have to have a six. We definitely have to have a four now. And if the highest digit is seven, sorry, is six. It's essentially, I'm going to say it's essentially one, two, three, four, five, or six. And the optional one is whether it's a one or a six. Now, clearly, five is already gone. Six is not here. And the 
we need to figure out which one it is, whether it's a one or a six. That's not a one. That's not a two. That's not a one either. Seven is now up here. Six is not here, so it's either a six, seven pair. And six is not here. And right, if it's a six, seven pair, six is not in any of these, and it ends up being with a one. And we know that eight is down here. Just not enough again. Um, what else do we know? What else do we know? Yeah, it really feels too premature to be looking at these. So we know nine is not part of it, but there's still a lot of odd digits that are available. And knowing the seven is up here again isn't huge. We know that there is a seven there. Let me think about these Remban lines for a second. Yeah, we, we can do more. We know that 4 is here. We know that's not the 4. That's 3. That's 4. That's not 4. That 4 tells us the direction of this. That's 5. That's 4. Yeah, so we had a few other things on here. Do we know anything else? This 6 tells us this is a 5 and a 6. Now, I'm tempted to say that we can actually figure out what some of these Remban lines are. So for example, it doesn't have a one, it doesn't have a two because three and one are not available. Not three, not four, not five. Six and seven is possible, surprisingly. Seven and eight is not possible because you can see seven can only be here, but the eight can't be there. So seven, eight is not possible. Eight, nine would be this way. We are probably fairly restricted on this one as well. So one, no, two, surprisingly possible this time because it could be two, one. This can't be one or three. Um, three can't be either of these. Four can't be either of these. Five, five, no, because it can't go with a four or a six in here. Six, no. Seven with an eight, possible again, seven and eight. And I'm going to say eight and nine, surprisingly. Now, two, seven, sorry, two, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's all the digits. This six is looking at this. This is nine, eight, not nine. Whoops, not nine, not eight. So two, one, and eight, seven seems plausible. Now, what do we need? What did we need here? We need two, seven, six, two, six, seven, I should say, with a six in here. That looks good. Can we do something similar on the left-hand side? So one and two, possible. Two can't be here because one three is looking at this cell. But this can be three. Three and four is possible. Five is not possible. Six is not possible. Seven, but what would it be? Six and eight are gone, no. Eight is not possible, nine is not possible. So still fairly restricted. It's either one, two, or three, four. Now these digits, that's not one. Again, can be one and two, I believe. Uh, the two, yeah, this is a lot less restricted, could be and the three could be in either of them. And so two, three is fine. If there is a four, it's up here with a three. 
Um, it could still be with a five as well. Six is in neither of these. Seven is in neither of these. Eight is in neither of these. Nine is in neither of these. So it is somewhat restricted, just not very restricted. And the only lesson we've learned from all of this is there is a seven up here, which we've known anyway. 21 cage, we've got three. We have 18 left in three cells. Not very restricted at all. Yeah, we know that it's not one and two. We're not repeating those in the, in the row. But it's just, you know, every option still available. When we say every option, I mean, column seven is fairly complete. So two, three, seven, and I'm guessing, yep, nine. So this is two, three, or nine. And this is three, seven, or nine. We need to place a five still. It's not in here. It's not in there. Why is it not here? Because this is not four or six. So five is placed. And this is not five. I missed that earlier. Still can be four, three. So we know five and seven are over here. Although this is not a five. Not a very useful pencil mark, if I'm honest. I may actually just remove the noise. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. One and two have to be up here. And three, four have to be here. I think that's a sensible conclusion. So that's the one, that's the two, therefore that's the three, that's the two, that's the three, that's the four. We have six, eight, nine left. So this is from six or nine. If there's six, eight or nine with an eight for sure in them. Sort of heavily dependent on what this is. We can remove the two and the three now. So we're left with four, six and nine. I don't think this can be a four. And because that's because we know four has to be on this Remban line. We've proven that it needs to be on there and it's not there. If I place a four here, I've removed all the other remaining places for the four. So that's not four. Creating a six nine pair in column three, that's the four. Now neither of these are four. I mean, I'm, I will pencil mark these and just see what shakes out, so to speak. So four, five, seven to complete the box, not four, not five, all of it is possible. Now, what I'm starting to think is actually, finally, these odd digit circles might actually be helpful because I can see I've got three already, four, five, this has to be even. So that's two, that's one. Neither of these are two. I can go a step further and say this has to be six. This has to be seven. And this is five or seven. It's seven. And that's the five. No, I made a mistake there. Sorry, excuse me. This is even because we already have one, five, seven in here. We're definitely a one, and therefore this is an eight. We have one and three up here for sure. Only the one is pencil mark, really. Three could still be either of these. Yeah, not helpful. 
two, six, eight, no. Right, let's look elsewhere. Oh, this seven is looking at this four. So that's four, that's not four. Do we have five or seven looking at this? We do not, but we can probably fill this in now. So that's two, three, and six. That's not two. This is four, five, seven, and nine. This is not five or nine. It's four or seven. Nine is definitely in one of these. Yeah, that's probably as far as we're going to take it for now. Yep, we know a little bit more. Two and three, that's the nine. Therefore, that's the six. That's the nine. We now know this is a six, eight pair. We can now fill this in, or at least pencil it in for sure. One, three, and nine. That's the one because we've got three, nine in the column. That's the three because we've got nine and one. That's the nine. We've already filled in three on this Remban line. We know there has to be a two on it. Therefore, this is the one, six that's outstanding. That's not two, that's the two in the row. Right, we know one is in here. We know one and seven are in here. So for this one, two, because essentially I'm taking a look at what completes um, row seven, and I can see that Yes, I'm missing one and seven, but I can't place them in here. So they're, they've got to be in the group of three in here. Now, the optionals that I can place in here would be eight and nine, I believe. Both of which are available. Let's see if I can do something similar with column eight. So we need to place three digits, which are two, five, and eight. That's two eight, meaning there's a five down here. I'm just gonna pencil mark them all because I can see I can eliminate this two, and there is a five for certain in here. I'm surprised that throughout all of this, I still haven't figured out whether this is one or six. So what's not in this row? So the two's taken care of, the seven's taken care of, the six and the one are in here, and the nine is taken care of. So we don't really have enough clues yet, surprisingly, to determine what's here. Let's see if we can complete this row though. We still need to place Right, that's the five. And therefore we've got three digits in here that we know about. So this seven is joined with, I was gonna say one or six, but we've got the one. So this seven is six, seven, that's the one. And we actually can finally pencil mark what this is. This is three, four, and eight. That's not an eight. Do we know anything else? For now, no. Therefore, that's a 2 8 pair, and the last one to complete the box is a 4. So this is, I'm guessing, 2, 3, 8, 9. 2, 3, 8, 9. Not 2. There has to be a 3 in here. I mean, we've already placed a three, we've already placed a nine, that's a seven. And the only thing that is kind of a toss up is the two and eight. There's a five in here, there's a three and nine in here, and the two eight is somewhere between them. Mm, not sure anything necessarily disambiguates it just yet. It is not an issue. So we have 10, we need 11 in two digits. It's not two nine. 
it can be 3 8 it's not 4 7 it could be 5 6 in fact if it is 3 8 it goes this way around and if it is 5 6 it goes this way round. Now, interestingly, whichever six, so this is a five eight pair that gives us the six in here. Three eight five replace three and eight. That's the nine. That's the eight, therefore two eight. And we needed to place a five and a two to finish this, and a three eight. Have we not figured out the fives and sevens? Not yet, apparently. Uh, let's see, what can we do with row eight? We still need four, five, and six by the looks of things. Kind of frowning, thinking, well, how is it we've not been able to place more? And this is one, seven, and nine. Not one, not nine. You know, what I'm just looking around for is any piece of logic that I've missed. Other than having to look around for doubles and triplets and all sorts of nasty things. Here's a three, for example, looking at that four. That would just take me ages to find. So, for example, there's an eight that's looking down here. That's a three. That's the eight. Therefore, that's the three. That's the six. So... It is actually unraveling fairly quickly. It's just simple Sudoku at this point. Not necessarily looking for anything complicated just yet. Not six in here, not six in here. Six goes in there. Four, five. Have we got anything looking at them? No. Nope. This is not a seven. Have we got anything distinguishing them yet? One and seven. Yeah, the four is looking at a seven. This is a one. That's a nine. That's a seven. That's not seven either. So that's a one five pair, that's a seven, that's a five. Not five or seven. That's a four nine. Got a nine looking at it. That's four, that's nine. The four was looking down here. Yeah, five, one, five. I've not made any mistakes. That's a solution for today's puzzle. 23, well, 24 minutes we'll call it. Fantastic puzzle. I mean, once again, it's just being able to tell a story with a nine by nine grid and just fairly common rule sets like German whispers to become the green lightsabers and Remband lines to become um, Ahsoka's kind of distinctive hair and the eyes. It's just phenomenal, as always, um, from Cedric. Fantastic puzzle. Um, probably the only sort of twist on normal logic is just the interactions with these Remband lines. When you think about it, they are surprisingly restricted once you place some of the numbered ones down, where you're actually given the sum of those uh, Remband lines. And then extraordinarily, a large number of them are hugely restricted. Well, I, I love today's puzzle. I hope you have too. And uh, if you are a Star Wars fan, I hope that the series actually turns out to be fantastic. Um, bye for now and see you at the next video.